Kwame Brown talks about Antoine Walker being very generous with his money during their playing days. What's up, Baltimore? How y'all say it? Baltimore. B Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> y'all got the funniest accent ever. Y'all talk about us country Bamas. Y'all call us Bamas. But Baltimore. Yeah. I ain't gonna talk about you. Y'all crazy as hell. I love Baltimore. Shout out to Baltimore. Shout out to DC. Y'all helped raise me. Y'all helped shape this young man to a grown man. Shout out to all the ladies in DC too. Chocolate City was the when I was there. Yes, yes. Got your head back from D.C., Baltimore. Huh? What? What'd you say? I'm just saying. I'm just saying, you a product of D.C. made by Georgia, a.k.a. D.C., Baltimore. <laughs> oh, I love L.A. too. Yes, 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 yes. I just don't like y'all. I love L.A. Yes, yes. I love Philly too. Yes, yes, yes. I, I liked everywhere I was at. <laughs> Cause it's so plentiful. The life that we live is so <laughs> beautiful. The life we live. Project Pat. <laughs> Boy, it's so plentiful. Yes, yes, yes. Shot Town. I used to be in Shot Town every summer. Yes, sir. Lakeshore Drive. Sh Chicago got a little too crazy for me though. But Chicago, Antoine Walker, shout out to you. Chicago used to be the spot where, shout out to Bobby Simmons. Shout out to um, Quentin Richardson, D-Way, all those guys get up there and hoop. But, you know, Antoine, he took care of everybody. Antoine was the GOAT. That took care of everybody. I'm talking about everybody. I don't care how much money you had. What's you talking about? You got to use the bathroom again? That's what happens when you try to eat everything that comes in front of you. Big head girl. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, but man, shout out to Antoine Walker, man. I'm talking about, I'm talking about when you talking about an old head, he every sense of what an old head and what an elder is supposed to be. I don't give a damn what they told you about him and what he did with his money off the court. I know what he did for them. And all the people that ever stepped foot in Chicago. If you step foot in Chicago, Twan, you ain't need no money for Twan. I'm gonna tell you that right now. He ain't give a fuck if you was in the NBA. He ain't give a fuck if you was a street. Man, he begging you to put your money up. And I used to be like, man, I don't want you to pay for my shit. I got this. But he know what hospitality is like. That, that dude will always win. Because when he is hosting something or putting on something, he do it big. So, hopefully we can get this Judge Joe Brown interview going. And I'll be back at y'all with that later. But shout out to Antoine Walker, man. There's so many college kids that came through Chicago that somehow he touched. Either through helping them, you know, get the programs or helping them while he was in college. Uh... I think Nazi Muhammad talked about that too. So we got to give people their flowers while they're here. I know they, the media tell you that he's some crazy, spit up his money guy, but that man was helping the hood. The man was helping the whole hood. So it's a shame that people won't tell the real story. Do you have any bottle water? No, no, you don't? Really it, it's out the fountain, It's out the fountain? Okay. Yeah, yeah man. But. Shout out to Antoine Walker. Shout out to any dude in their city that's giving back to the youth and making sure these kids straight. It's just a shame we don't have enough people to rally around these guys so they don't have to give so much so they not spread it so thin. It should be a group of niggas in each city doing what Antoine Walker did for his city. So it shouldn't be one. But uh, I understand what he was doing. He was trying to build niggas up so they need him less. But unfortunately, sometimes when you try to build people up, they use you and need you more. They latch on more. So, y'all have fun tonight. Thanks for tuning in to Nine Mag TV.